The nurse practitioner will not take over doctors' jobs, but rather improve the healthcare system by using advanced nursing roles to increase patient care and free up other health professionals for a more focused, patient-orientated healthcare role. But the AMA feels this is not just a financial decision, but also a political one. It's about finances, it's about dealing with the political pressure that's been put on by the College of Nurses and the ANF, without a doubt. I think they're really about the government finding a cheap way to provide medical services to, a, to specific sectors of the community and to appease factions within the ANF and the College of Nursing. Oh, look, I think nurses were lobbying generally um, for nurse practitioner roles. There had been nurse practitioners in place overseas, so it was um, considered to be um, a legitimate role. And, uh, and one that many nurses saw that they wished to aspire to. I think it's a good thing for nursing. It, it offers a good career path for, for nurses who wish to specialise at an advanced level. Nurse practitioners have been particularly effective in emergency departments where patients with fractures do not have to wait for hours to see a doctor. In palliative care, where a nurse practitioner can handle the pain management of a terminally ill client. And in remote settings, where the nearest doctor is 500 kilometres away. Whilst the model seems to be focused on increasing patient care and the management of valuable healthcare resources, the AMA remains concerned about the accountability of the system. At the AMA, our concern is really obviously the welfare of the patients as well as the welfare of our members. What happens if the person has a reaction to the medication or a complication of taking the medication? So who's going to be legally responsible for a nurse practitioner working out of a GP's practice prescribing warfarin or antibiotics when something goes wrong? Is the GP then going to be liable? I don't think that's actually possible because part of the way that we've structured the nurse practitioner role is that they need partnerships with doctors. We are not into developing a second class doctor, but a first class nurse. And the, the role has been structured so that there has to be medical support and a medical partnership. Nurse practitioners in their own right are professionals. They have registered, they are protected, their title's protected, and they are, uh, are licensed to practice as nurse practitioners. They are responsible for their performance as they are now as an unaccountable. Working within an organisation, they work within the protocols and policies of that organisation, so they're the same as any other health profession. I don't see that the doctor is responsible for the nurse practitioner's practice. In the end, the medical practitioners are going to be the ones that are supervising the nurse practitioners and are also the ones that are going to be mopping up from any uh, complications or any problems that the nurse practitioners have that they can't cope with. So it seems to me to be only reasonable that the medical profession would have input. They would have liked to say, no, you can't have nurse practitioners. And they're right in saying that they had no choice about that because what we were doing was discussing how we were going to introduce nurse practitioners, not whether we would introduce them or not. But remember, this is a nursing position. We're talking about a nursing position. So while we are seeking other people's input, the decision is up to nurses as to how their career structure is developed and the sort of work that they do. Um, and so it must be nurses that drive it, and it must be nurses that take ownership. Um, and I think the days are gone when we ask doctors permission to do things. The nursing profession is embracing nurse practitioner and believes the role will be good for recruitment and retention. But the AMA is concerned that the new level of nurse will decrease the number of nurses working on the wards. I guess what worries me is that we develop a whole lot of sort of extra nursing admin type position. We take so many good nurses out of caring for patients, we end up being having a real shortage of nurses within the actual wards to look after the patients. The purpose of the healthcare system is to care for patients and a lot of these extra roles are taking nurses away from what their real work should be. The first nurse practitioner in Western Australia was placed in the liver transplant service. The consultant doctor and the director of nursing fought hard to get the project endorsed by the health service, but the battle wasn't easy. So we had to uh, go through the concerns that medical staff had. In actual fact, one of the areas that we had a debate here that I was, was unexpected it was from the pharmacists. And the reasons that they put up were a little bit weak. What was the big agenda? It could not be just that this pharmacist is misguided. And it was the national agenda of pharmacists where they want to be able to, they want to get prescribing rights. You know, why, why should a pharmacist get prescribing rights? 
Prescribing drugs isn't the be-all and end-all, it's a total patient. Management and drugs are only one sort of intervention and part of the whole treatment of the patient. So. I'm, one, I'm one of the emergency nurse practitioners. As nurse practitioners get rolled out all over Australia and become an integral part of Australia's healthcare system, the super-level nurse is becoming more accepted by patients and other healthcare professionals. One of my favourite quotes, 1992, Tony Bahaja, strong threats are being mounted to our profession by a handful of nurses with a grossly overinflated opinion of their abilities. I don't believe that doctors think that anymore. Craig Nels did a press release in March of this year with just a raft of our most senior medical practitioners in New South Wales expressing their support for nurse practitioners. I think we can see more patients and patients can be managed effectively and safely and uh, we can go on and do other things uh, for the patients such as accessible liver transplant or look after the complications of the liver disease. Yeah, nurse practitioners work as an integral part of, the, of a health team and uh, in terms of benefiting patients they bring a different perspective or a specialist perspective. So in terms of improving access they're a vital part of the way forward in terms of meeting demand with our growing population and the growing burden of chronic disease. Patients in fact quite like nurse practitioners because they can contact nurse practitioners very quickly. They are the first contact for patients and a lot of healthcare workers so that uh, they don't have to spend a lot of time trying to find us. They're on the phone, they can give advice over the phone with simple queries, they don't really need to come to us. If there's any complex problems, uh, the nurse practitioner will discuss with us and then get back to the patients. Well, the, the benefits are that you're only dealing with the one person for all your treatment, so you don't have to go here, there and everywhere to get the different facets of your treatment, so the one person can issue your blood tests, your medications and uh, any other pills, etc., that you might require. It's total patient management. That's the satisfaction that I get of being a nurse practitioner. In her student days, lectures by eminent authorities feature largely in her curriculum. Under the guidance first of her tutor sister and then the ward sister, the student nurse gradually assumes greater responsibility. It has taken many years of struggle from nurse leaders and nurse academics for their dream to come true. A new level of nurse who has taken the profession beyond anything that Australian nurse lobbyists like Pat Slater, Annie Sage and Vivian Bullwinkle could ever have imagined. Their vision has finally been realised. In a healthcare system where doctors are few and far between, it is often up to the nurses to go far beyond the traditional boundaries of their role. But with the Nurse Practitioner Project, this has changed. The nurse practitioner is designed to facilitate patient care and encourages a holistic healthcare model which is in step with world trends. And whilst slow to take off, the nurse practitioner has been very successful for Australia's healthcare system. Nurse TV, brought to you by Hester.